Just before we get into the full-on novelty voice part of this review, I just wanted to start this one with more of a normal voice, just so that you can kind of tell that it's not a voice changer, because this is the kind of voice that when you do it, especially because people can't see me doing it, it's more that kind of voice which people will say, oh, he's just using a voice changer. Well, no, I'm actually not. And if you thought the epic movie guy was a deep voice, well, wait until you hear this one, because this is probably the most vocally taxing voice I can do. So, let's get into it. Greetings, fleshlings. <laughs> My name is Megatron. And for any of you who may perhaps be a fan of the Transformers franchise, you probably already know who I am. <laughs> it's not a very good franchise, but I've got a pretty cool voice, and that is all that matters. <laughs> now... As many of you know, I travel to the Earth of Mortals to find the Allspark. But when I arrived, I didn't find it. Instead, I found a Sleeker, <laughs> an ST-165, and this is the 39th episode of Import Nights. Now, if I can hold this voice up for long enough, let's consider whether or not it's a good car, basically. And if so, what it has to offer. First off, consider the value. JDM models in general are known for having excellent value for money. This one is no exception at just under 30,000 of your hard-earned credits. Now, some of you may be wondering why a clearly rally-bred model is being featured in important nights. Does it really deserve to be here? Well... That is the question of the hour, and my answer is, of course, because I said so. But no, really, <laughs> it deserves to be here predominantly for the sake of continuity, since we already reviewed the ST-185 and ST-205, both of which prove themselves to be excellent road and rally cars. This vehicle, on the other hand, doesn't get the exposure on Gran Turismo, which the others do. So the question is, is it good or not? Well, consider what you get. The two-liter turbo engine combined with all-wheel drive puts out just under 400 horsepower. That's not as much as me, but hey, nobody's perfect. <laughs> as far as talk, it puts out 309 pound feet and weighs in at 1105 kilograms, which, although isn't quite as light as you might expect, certainly isn't bad at all, especially for a decent-sized vehicle with all-wheel drive. The horsepower per ton is incidentally a reasonably impressive 360, and the fully-tuned PP level is 511, which I would say is pretty good for this car. It's not too high, it's not too low. It's, well, pretty good, as I just said. Now, as far as its trackability and when or where it would be best suited to drivers, well, I would say that the 
ST-165 is a more beginner-friendly example of a JDM model than some others, silicas included. On the road, it makes for an excellent truck car, but it is on the dirt where it truly comes into its own, which is not surprising at all, given the Salikas Rally heritage, especially after this model. Now, the car is not without its weaker points. In a straight line, for instance, it's not quite as strong as the ST-185, and of course, the ST-205, but that won't really surprise anyone, considering how much less power it has. Power. <laughs> I like power. Now, as far as its trackability, this is the kind of model which, as with many others which I have reviewed, I would not say is an essential purchase, but... Unlike many vehicles which I would say that about, this is a car that if you do decide to use it, it does have a lot of ability on offer. It offers strong all-round ability, both on and off-road, for a reasonable price. And if you're the kind of person who prefers to use something which others do not, then the ST-165 may well be the car for you. <laughs> but my time is up, and I will see you, fleshlings, another time. But for now, I need a really large glass of milk. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>